ladies and gentlemen. After watching how chicken pie is made, now I would like to show you how to use puff pastry to create another dish, that is flaky sardine rolls, which I know it is a very popular item in the bakery shop. I will show you how to prepare the filling for the sardine rolls. Once you know how to prepare the filling, then you can use either the puff pastry or the short crust pastry to make the sardine roll. Now, let's see how to prepare the filling. We need one small tin of sardine. Try not to use all the sauce. Yeah, do not use all the sauce because it will be too wet. And then, what you can do is we flick up the meat. Use a fork to flake the, the fish, but try not to flake it too fine. Otherwise, you cannot get the taste. Then, we need to use one big onion. You chop the onions and add in one tablespoon of lime juice or lemon juice. And then, one to two red chilies. Just chop it up. If you have small children, you can omit using it. Add in a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Mix everything together and taste before using it. This filling is very versatile. You can use it as filling for sandwiches or you can use it for making buns or even pizza. Now let's see how to prepare the pastry. I've already shown you how to prepare the puff pastry earlier. And this pastry has been folded and rolled five times already. And now we can just roll it into a rectangular shape. Start rolling from the center. And keep rolling so that you can keep the shape of the rectangle. The thickness should be about 3 mm or quarter of an inch. Yes, always remember, you must lift up the pastry after rolling so that you can shrink to its actual size. Yes, just like that. Just lift up, otherwise, later on when you cut, it will shrink. Remember, always sprinkle a bit of flour underneath so that it will not stick on to the base. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see that the, this side is very nice, but the other side is not so nice, so we turn it over. Yes, we turn it over so that this side will be folded in, will be folded in later. Use your rolling pin and roll until it is quarter of an inch in thickness. You can see that the pastry is ready for rolling now. Keep the shape. It should be a rectangular shape so that when you cut, you, you will not waste the pastry. Get ready a very sharp knife. And you divide into the size that you like. And here I'm going to divide into five. Now I'm going to give it into, uh, divide it into five portions. Use your sharp knife and cut it into five strips. If you find that it's not straight, you can always trim it away. And over here, you can divide it into three parts. So, five times three, you get about 15 pieces. Now, you divide the sardine, the filling, the sardine filling, and put it on top of the pastry. Make sure it is not wet, otherwise a lot of liquid will come out later. And now get ready a brush and a bit of water. And you're going to use a brush to brush some water on the side so that you can stick it well. Later it will stick very well. This sardine puff can be made into two ways. The simplest one is just 
fold over, just fold over to cover, then it becomes a sardine part. But I prefer sardine roll. So what you do is you cover the filling with the pastry and then you roll it up like this. So it becomes very neat and nice. Again, fold it over to cover the filling and then you pull, pull it tightly, then you roll. Then it becomes very neat. And push in the filling from the two sides so that it will not come out. And make sure the top, the surface, the top surface looks very clean. Brush a bit of oil onto your baking tray and arrange your sardine roll on top. And keep the shape. You find that the end should be down. The end of the pastry should be down. Don't arrange it too closely because it will puff up later. Ladies and gentlemen, you see that these sardine rolls are already ready and to make it more attractive, you have to glaze with some bitten egg. Yes, you use one egg, add in a little bit of salt and use a brush to brush the beaten egg on top. Make sure it is well brushed, then the color will be nice. Use a sharp knife and you can cut a few slits on top. You can also use a pair of scissors to do it. Then you find that it has a bit of pattern. Then you can see all the layers. This is the sardine roll ready to be baked. To bake, you use 190 degrees Celsius for 25 to 30 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see that our flaky sardine rolls are ready. And it looks like this. You can see that there are many layers there. This style of pop pastry, you find that after baking, the shape of the roll may not be the same or not even. Don't worry. It is due to the pastry. The difference in thickness will result in different shapes. Yes. This is the sardine rolls which I hope you will try.